Good evening. You're on the air. Well, good evening, Bill. I'm kind of curious uh, on the liner notes of your book, Behold a Pale Horse. Uh, there's a claim to the effect that you are the leading authority on UFOs. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Without a doubt. Okay. Uh, have you tried to get... I'm the only one who tells both sides of the story about UFOs and tells you the truth about alien visitation versus human technology. Yes, absolutely. Everybody else out there is scamming the public. They have an agenda to create an extraterrestrial threat to this earth in order to bring about one world government. Have you made any attempt to take this out to other uh, uh, media venues such as other radio shows? Oh, absolutely. Everybody would listen to everything I said until I connected UFOs with the New World Order, and then, uh-uh. Hmm. Well, uh, and they won't deal with the facts. No, what they do is attack me personally, like they always did. This is a typical socialist bullshit trick. Is they cannot deal with facts. They never talk about facts. They never debate facts. They always attack the person, usually with a bushel full of lies. Well, I, I have only recently discovered you about uh, six or eight months ago, so I, I'm not up on your, your full history, so to speak, as it's been presented. Uh, one of the things that I've noticed, at least recently, is that there are uh, more and more uh, sympathetic ears, shall we say, in the, in the uh, talk show circles. And I, I'm just curious if there's been any recent attempts. Well, now that, be careful what you mean by sympathetic. By sympathetic, do you mean that they're promoting the fact that extraterrestrials are real? Um, they're, they're Is that the gist of their programming? Sure, sure. Or, yeah. At the same time, there are... One world government's coming. You better straighten up. Well, that, that's just it. There are, I'm hearing more and more of these people that, that at least outwardly appear to be uh, also, if not outright sympathetic, at least more open to the idea that, that the things that, that we are discussing here tonight and elsewhere uh, has more validity than the mainstream media is willing to give it. So in, in that respect, uh, also, they appear to be becoming more sympathetic. Not true. Art Bell, for instance, used to have a talk show in Las Vegas where he talked about all kinds of conservative things and uh, uh, a little bit of uh, ridiculousness every once in a while. When he talks about UFOs, he has people like John Lear on who will tell you that we're being eaten by aliens, that we're being abducted by aliens, that they're sucking our blood and that crash discs have crashed into Mexico and alien bodies were recovered. Uh, if I were to propose to Art Bell to go on his show and talk about the possibility that this is human technology and it's a scam to bring about one world government, he won't hear of that. Hmm. Now, I ask you, what is all this based upon? Where's the dead bodies? Where's the crashed alien craft? Where's a piece of metal from any, any extraterrestrial anything that's crashed or been here? Well, I, I agree, and I, I, I see in other media, the, the uh, television is a perfect example. We're seeing more and more of this hints that maybe the government will finally open up and tell us all of... They've been saying that since uh, 1947. The government can't open up and tell us everything. You know why? There's nothing to tell. That's exactly right. There's nothing to tell. When the government says that UFOs do not represent a threat to the national security, they're telling the truth. But every time they say it, all the wackos say, cover up, cover up their line. Mm -hmm. Okay? Right. Now, don't think that they're not someday, because they might. If they can create something in a laboratory that looks like it might have come from another planet, and they can grow it and teach it some kind of a weird language so that it can step out of a... Uh, um, an aircraft on the White House lawn and shake hands with the president in front of the TV cameras, uh, then they just might might uh, tell you that uh, we're being visited by extraterrestrials from some other planet. I've gone back and studied this from the farthest back that I can find reference to it. And I'm telling you right now, if extraterrestrials are real, they're no threat to this planet. They're not bothering us. They're not eating us. They're not mutilating cattle. They're not doing any of that stuff. If they're real, 
They're not interfering in us at all. They did not create us. They did not create Jesus Christ. They are not manipulating the government. Hmm. Well, okay. Uh, I, in, in fact, you mentioned Art Bell, and he was specifically uh, uh, the host I was thinking about. <laughs> yeah, and he calls his show Dreamland. Uh, yeah. That's what John Lear said the secret name of Area 51 is. I've done two video documentaries on Area 51. I've, uh, in fact, I'm the one that told everybody where it was. They all say it was Bob Lazar, but that's not true. It was me on the uh, Billy Goodman radio show in Las Vegas. And then another guy who was a reporter, I forget his name, he went out there and scouted it and found the little alien, and he would call in the Billy Goodman show. And then uh, the listeners started calling. Billy Goodman put together a field trip and went out there. And I had been going out there for years and did two video documentaries, one called Project Red Light, and the other one called Project Red Light 2. It's masters of worn out, so you can't order them from me. They're all gone. And uh, we don't have any masters left to make any. But uh, it, it's, it's not alien technology. It's human technology. And we found out that the, the Germans actually developed disc-shaped crafts before and during World War II and perfected them to the point where they could be test flown. We found reference in 1917 where John Dewey, the father of our failed education system, who proposed a new world order, a one world government, said in a speech uh, before the Japanese imperial delegation at a dinner in New York City, which was, uh, this delegation was headed by Viscount Ishii, the first sentence out of his mouth was, quote, someone once told me that the best way to unite all humanity in a one world government and do away with war would be if we were attacked by some other species from some other planet, end quote. Almost the exact words that Reagan said six times during his presidency. It makes perfect sense to me. Yeah, you better believe it. People better wake up to this stuff. Stop listening to these scam artists. Recently, Larry King was on. And old Stanton Friedman and the rest of these clowns kept sitting there talking about, we got all this proof, we got all this proof. And all they kept saying for, for what, two or four hours, however long it was, I taped the whole thing, uh, was, we got proof, we got proof. But they never showed one single bit of proof during that entire program. And they never do. And Stanton Friedman, what did he say? What did he say? What did he keep saying? This is going to affect the young people where they have a different view of the planet where they see the planet as one under one government rather than divided up into separate nations. Which sounds like something that Larry King would just eat up. Oh, he did eat it up, but that's the whole purpose of the whole show. And people went away saying, Larry King did a show on UFOs, they must be real, and they talked about all the proof that they have. But they never showed anybody any proof, did they? Well, I don't know. I missed the program. It sounds like I should have seen it. I might have gotten a few laughs. Yeah, you should have seen it. You would have got a lot of laughs. Very good. Thank you, Bill. You're welcome. Thank you for calling. Yeah, folks, you better wake up. You better wake up, gang, because they got you. They got you by the strings, and they're pulling the strings, and they're playing a tune, and you're dancing around just like they want you to do. Yes, sir. I want you to 